What's up guys, my name is Andrew, also known as Wendy the Maker, and this is Upcycled. I'm all about DIY fashion and using upcycling to construct or reconstruct garments. Whether it's hopping on new trends or experimenting with new styles, there's nothing more satisfying than creating your own piece of clothing that nobody else has. In today's episode, we're gonna be making a sponge purse, where we're taking ordinary sponges and turning it into a purse. Let's get into it. All right. For this project, you're gonna need about 17 sponges, a ruler, some clips, bias tape, a measuring tape, some scissors, some fabric for the straps, a pencil, some pattern paper, and a purse for reference. First, we're going to get the measurements of the body. About 13 inches, but I'm gonna add another inch for the allowance, and about 10 inches on the sides. So we're gonna roll our pattern paper out and then make a rectangle that's 14 by 10 inches. All right, now that we have our pattern made, we're just gonna start placing our sponges where we would like them. So now that we have them laid out, we can go ahead and start sewing them together. And this part can be a little bit tricky, but we're gonna pinch the sponges and line up the inside part just like that and do a zigzag stitch. I'm doing a back stitch at the beginning and end just to lock it in place, and then I'm going to sew right up on the edge. Alrighty, and we're just gonna keep this process up for the whole panel. And just gonna keep piecing it together one by one. All right, and now we have this side of our purse done. And this next step is optional, but we're gonna add a top stitch right here and here and down this side right here. And it's just gonna turn these rectangles into some squares. And now we're gonna make the base of the purse. And for this pattern, I found that you'll need five sponges. So we're just gonna lay them out and then we're just gonna sew them end to end to create a long strip. And now we have our base made, so we're gonna attach it to the side. And I'm gonna line that right up in the middle, and then I'm gonna flip it right sides together. And at this point, I'm actually gonna use my sewing clips just to keep this nice and secure. And I'm using a zigzag stitch for this part as well. And now we're just gonna fold this sponge and pin it up the side, and we'll sew right here. I'm actually surprised how smooth this is going. When I first thought about working with sponges, I was like, there's no way, but here we are. I'm pretty excited with how it's turning out. I think I'm gonna play around with some different colors for the other side. And now that we're done with this, we're just gonna repeat these steps and attach the back panel. All right, and now we have the body of the purse made. As you can see, we played around with the colors for the back panel. And we're just gonna add some bias tape around the top here to clean up those edges. I'm gonna pull about 36 inches of bias tape now that we have our bias tape cut, we're just gonna place it over the edge here. I'm just gonna start by clipping this one side and I'm gonna go ahead and sew it using a straight stitch. And from here, I'm just gonna kinda work my way around and just position the bias tape with my hands. So once we're towards the end, we're gonna take the end of the bias tape, open it up and fold it over just so we can have a nice and clean edge. I'm just gonna turn it back, right side out. And all that's left is to add the strap. You're gonna place that strap so the wrong sides are facing each other. And you're just gonna iron along this side here. Open it up and fold the edges in about a quarter of an inch and then iron those flat as well. I'm gonna fold this together and line up these sides right here. And then I'm just gonna go over it with the iron one more time. Alrighty, and once you got that all ironed, we can go ahead and sew along this seam right here. And I'm sewing right up to the edge. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we'll be done with this strap. I'm just gonna take my purse and place it on the inside. And we're gonna sew using straight stitch, a little square shape right here on both sides just to secure it. And we got the other side attached and our sponge purse is done. All right, let's see how it looks in our model. And here's how it turned out. We turned a bunch of sponges into a purse. It's a really cool project. You can play around with different patterns on the front and back. You can even add a magnet snap so you can close the bag. You can make the bag bigger or smaller, like a beach bag or a small clutch. And yeah, just go ahead and go to your kitchen, pick up some sponges and try it yourself. And once again, I'm Wayne the Maker and I'll catch you back here for the next episode of Upcycled.